this chair leg was loose. Isn't that silly? I could have broken my neck. Damn. Poor Connie, I took a cab home. I mean, I mean, stop by later on. Pretty cool. That sounds good too. So here's the harness. I'll show you guys real quick. Can you hold this? Hold the camera. Like you tell me. Thank you. It's kind of moving without me doing anything. It does that. It's stabilizing. So I bought a harness. So I didn't have to cut my original harness. The only difference I had to do came out here, went here to an HDMI to AV. Right now I'm actually powering it right here. If you guys can see, right below there, I'm powering it. to make a switch so when I drive it turns off the GPS so the vehicle doesn't know it's in motion and I had to cross on the harness the one I bought one, two, I think that's pin 11 and on the stereo side pin 15 how to give it power because that's the e-brake sensor and it requires either 12 or 24 volt but what was nice is that I mean, took it all back in again nicely I ran all the wires down and they're all hidden right now but it's just to show everyone so right now I'm using a fire TV but I can use um, any mirror cast or anything else if I wanted to but I just chose fire TV because that's what I had laying around and watch out real quick here's the fire TV I could have this all hidden right now but it's just easier just to mess with it and with the fire TV the only problem is you have to go to display then go to display mirroring and then on your Samsung device just go down, scroll over, hit smart view. It'll automatically connect. And there we go. The only thing is I haven't figured out. I need to find an app to turn the screen sideways on the home screen. But other than that, it's pretty good. And let's see, I'll show you guys. Here's my Netflix app. I turn the phone sideways, the screen goes sideways. You can go to screen format and adjust it, zoom, normal, whatever. And I can just play anything right on to it. Institution. Got himself a full academic scholarship that we never saw again. We couldn't now the screen isn't that high resolution. That's why but we it, kept you on it looks the great and helped you get your online so the main reason I got studies. it for was when I'm driving I wanted my navigation on here so I didn't have to look at a small phone anymore let's pick somewhere around Let's 
so I have all the navigation now on screen. The harness cost 40 bucks. The HDMI to AV cost nine dollars. GPS switch or just a random switch, ten bucks. And then um, Fire TV I already had. So, but if you get Miracast, that's like nine dollars. Now the other thing is the HDMI to AV requires power. So I'm kind of stealing the power right now from the cigarette lighter. That's the only issue. Um, I plan on doing is buying a 12 volt to 5 volt converter and wiring it in. But that should be about it now. Thanks.